Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Wesley Ruff. In just about two hours from right now, the college football season kicks off with the 100th edition of the Utah BYU rivalry. Dana Green joins us now live from Lavelle Edwards Stadium in Provo. And Dana, we've been talking about this game for weeks now, but the rivalry has been pretty one sided for the last decade. Yeah, it sure has, Wes. Utah's won eight in a row. The last time they won nine in a row, back in the 1930s. I'm sure Wes remembers those games very well. But even BYU with their dominance back in the day, well, their longest winning streak is only nine in a row. So Utah has a chance to equal some rivalry history tonight. But ever since BYU won on this field back in 2009, it has been all Utah. In 2010, Brandon Burton blocked a potential game-winning field goal on the final play as Utah held on at home 17-16. Hey, that's just how we are, man. We keep going no matter what. We're a bunch of tough guys. We never quit. We saw tonight. The next year in Provo, Jay Keeps and the BYU offense committed seven turnovers as Utah recorded its biggest blowout on the rivalry since 1922, 54-10. The game was much tighter in 2012 when Utah fans stormed the field not once, not twice, but finally after Riley Stevenson banked a field goal off the upright, Utes fans celebrated a third time with a 24-21 win. I think it would ever end. I didn't think it'd ever end, but uh, there's no better way to end this kind of game. 2013, Travis Wilson threw two touchdown passes as the Utes made it four in a row with a 20-13 victory in Provo. We came here and made this our home again. This is Forest State. I'm going out as a senior with three wins and no losses. We don't lose. After taking a year off, Utah and BYU met for the first time in a bowl game. And after Utah bolted out of the gates to a 35-0 lead in the first quarter, the Cougars made it close at the Las Vegas Bowl, but the Utes held on for a 35-28 win. Another thriller in 2016, Sunia Tauteoli had a pick six on the first play of the game to give the Utes the early lead, but Taysom Hill led the Cougars back. Down seven with 18 seconds left, Hill scored a touchdown, but instead of kicking the extra point and going to overtime, Kalani Satake decided to go for two, and Hill got stuffed to give Utah its seventh straight victory. What do you think about Kalani going for two at the end? That was such a gut. You have to do what you have to do as a coach. I'm not a coach, I wouldn't know him. Are you just glad you stopped him? Just glad we stopped him. In 2017, Tyler Huntley got introduced to the rivalry, accounting for almost 400 total yards and a touchdown as the Utes defense shut Tanner Mangum down 19-13. Oh uh, man, it just felt good to get a first win on road. It was a packed crowd, so it was good to get a win out of it. Then last year, Zach Wilson led the Cougars to a commanding 27-7 lead in the third quarter, but Jason Shelley engineered an incredible comeback. The Utes scored 28 unanswered points, capped by a Shelley TD run as the Utes extended the streak to 8, 35-27. You couldn't move the ball at all, and then all of a sudden you're unstoppable. What happened? Uh, we just need to make a play uh, early. We ain't make no plays. We always had one guy here, here, and there, and then we all click, and then boom, we show and see what can happen in the second half. Yeah, so BYU fans pretty excited for this one. They think the streak is gonna end tonight. We shall see, Wes, we're about two hours away. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Live at Laval Edwards Stadium. Back to the fans there. I'm Dana Green, ABC4 Sports. Thanks, Dana. Cannot wait for kickoff. Should be a good one. A lot of people